there is already eight hospitals in Lebanon are out of service. There is thousands of being, people being killed. Mm -hmm. There is one million forced to flee their homes. And yeah. the Israelis has calling for more troops. So how can this not be a scenario in Gaza that we have seen it unfolding? And second is, isn't that a mission creep? How do you agree with the Israelis on the outcome of the war? If Netanyahu said, we're going to continue regardless of what the White House, more or less, is saying, as long as we are not achieving our, our uh, aims in Lebanon. Look, uh, look, I'm going to uh, say what I said moments ago. We do not want to see Gaza, what happened in Gaza, happen in Lebanon. I, that's what I said, and that is something that we do not want to see. Uh, and as we've said, Israel does have the right to defend itself. Uh, and um, you know to go after their 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 uh, their security threats that they see, uh, but um, one civilian casualty is too many, and we've been very clear about that. Uh, they must take Israel must take uh, every feasible precaution to prevent civilian harm, and those are the conversation discussions that we're going to continue to have, uh, and. Um, Look, you heard from us. We announced some human humanitarian assistance uh, uh, for Lebanon for the challenges that they're dealing with. Uh, 157 million dollars. We announced that last week uh, to deal with those uh, to those humanitarian challenges. And so we are aware of what's going on, uh, and we've been very clear. We've been very clear on this. Okay, Jared. Uh, just two kind of clarifying questions, at least clarifying for me, uh, they may be clear for others. But um, have you, uh, in the talks that the President has had with, with uh, the Israeli Prime Minister, sort of beyond just kind of the details or the readout, mm -hmm. is there now an expectation that Israel would inform the administration in advance of action it's planning to take against Iran? What I can tell you that the discussions continue on how Israel's going to respond to that attack, to the attack from Iran last week. Those discussions continue. I'm not going to get into details from here. And then just uh, quickly on, on the uh, Lebanon, it, you talked about kind of the, the efforts being made to help Americans uh, get out. Yeah, uh, Americans so far, who are, are those in all, Lebanon. Are those all commercial flights at this point? Or are you talking about like some military charters or diplomatic charters as well? Yeah, so um, what I spoke to was uh, 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 commercial flights and what we're trying to do, uh, get some seats on, uh, certainly on these flights. Uh, I would refer you to the State Department. Uh, they did a very well, a very good lay down of this as well, uh, and they're certainly helping to lead that effort, so I would refer you to the State Department on any specifics. Go ahead, Phil. Um, thank you, Greg. Uh, you're pretty consistent. You don't often speculate about hypotheticals, but today on more than one occasion, you've said that if it's true, that former President Trump spoke with Vladimir Putin, then that's concerning. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, why is this administration willing to speculate about that in particular? I said, if it's true. Speculation. It's speculation, but if it's true, because I knew, right, we all knew that you all will have, con will have questions about, uh, 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 for us, about the national security concerns, uh, about our thoughts about this. And so, if it is indeed true, Right? We're talking about President Putin here. We see what's happening in Ukraine, Russia's aggression in Ukraine. That's about democracy. That's about Ukrainians fighting for their freedom. And we've heard the former president say and lobby against the, the funding uh, for Ukraine. So yeah, if it is true, uh, it is indeed concerning because we're talking about our national security here. So we want it to be, I want it to be very, very clear. Uh, and so I'll leave it there. And then a second question. Sure. Um, does President Biden regret making Merrick Garland his attorney general, as uh, Mr. Woodward has reported? Uh, look, um, the reason I'm able to speculate, because that's a national security concern, I wanted to be very clear about that. But as I've stated many times before, there's going to be many books uh, written about an administration. It's, not, it's very much typical. Uh, and I'm just not going to comment on every specific, every uh, every uh, matter that comes up or any particulars uh, that come up. And then a national security question. Yeah. Um, Mr. Woodward also reports that according to intelligence reports, White House f officials here believed that there was as much of a 50% chance that Russia would use a tactical nuclear weapon in Ukraine. I mean, is, is that 50% odds <laughs> number? Is that accurate? And if so, yeah. uh, would this administration you know, let the American public know that that kind of risk is real? 
again, I'm not going to speak to everything uh, that is in a book, every particular. Uh, there's going to be many books written, and we understand that. It's not atypical, uh, but I won't respond to every piece in a book. All right, guys, got to go. Thank you so much. We'll see you.